a party there. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a gangsta Tonight. party. Like that up, so why you acting like that? Oh shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, man. <laughs> you done put two of America's party. most wanted in the same motherfucking place at the same motherfucking time. Like <laughs> Y'all niggas about to feel this. Break out the champagne glasses and motherfucking condoms. Have one on us, alright? Ain't nobody against the party. McFadden, good block by Satelli, breaking a tackle, and there he goes! It's a foot race! Pats can't get him! McFadden has scored for the second time today! This time on the ground, a 51-yard gallop! Wow, just a wonderful run. He gets here, and then he cuts it back. And then watch his speed at the third level of the defense. You can't even pull his flag. He pulls away from all the secondary defenders. Oh boy, his ability to run it and catch it and still find the end zone has been very prevalent to that. Brady sent in an extra lineman. Adal Alexander. And Lynch picks up the first down at Moore. Marshawn Lynch will go all the way 50 yards for a Raiders touchdown. Or Jonathan Casillas and just a little bit over pursued here. Good block out front by Casimile. And Marshawn Lynch just gasses them to start this football game. And I got to tell you, King, that's pretty par for the course for the Giants. They are not very good at run defense. One guy out of his gap. Huge touchdown for the Raiders. Running style will wear out a defense as the game goes on. Pitch it. Richard. Jalen Richard busting to the clear. Richard high kicks it into the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. Richard with the rip. It's the one cut and then up the field. Takes the pitch. There's the cut. And now the explosiveness, speed, and the awareness to step out of one. Watch him starting to the left here, now sees the defense overreacting and just uses his speed to break it away and take it to the end zone. What a player. Raiders with the football at their own 45. Here's Amos Zaraway. Zaraway bounces off. Zaraway at the 40. Looking for a lane. Cuts it back. Amos Zaraway getting out right. What an individual effort. Touchdown Raiders. 55 yards. Spectacular job of blocking downfield by Jerry Porter. He, he knows where Amos Zaraway is right here when he breaks the huddle. Watch that job. Staying in front, shadowing Marcus Coleman, putting him on his back. Zaraway then cuts it across the field. Aaron Glenn makes a move on him. Pro Bowl selection, Bo Jackson, first off tackle for 55 yards and another Raider score. Number 85, Darius Hayward Bay, he's been shut out. Darren McFadden has not been shut out. McFadden busting it to the outside. Touchdown, Raiders. They are pouring it on. 
Zach Miller blocking out in front. Langston Walker. Good hole inside and then just making people miss. Making middle linebacker DJ Williams miss and then outrunning Cassius Vaughn for the corner of the end zone. Play for the Raiders from their own 42. Napoleon Kaufman gets the corner. Brown with a block. Kaufman down the sideline to the 10 and a touchdown. What a move by Kaufman. He showed his speed there down the sideline. Watch this move. This move's been put on David Brandon right here. Boom. Able to get outside. And I got a little excited here, Tom. I was like, there's no way. Look at the angle that the players had on him. And he's able to run it, outrun him to the end zone. Two long touchdown runs by Napoleon Kaufman today. The Raiders are just trying to mix and match in the backfield. Jordan is back out there and gets the ball. Jordan breaks a tackle. Jordan stays on his feet out across the 30. Jordan's got the angle. And Jordan coasts in for the touchdown. Now watch how they just come back downside. Now when he goes to cut this back, he'll cut it back on Brian Russell, 27. Then watch 26. And Davin Holly, the, also the quarterback, 39. Poor pursuit angles to not be able to make that tackle. First and 10, Carl is 40. After an 18-yard touchdown pass, it's an end around. It goes off to Trevor Davis with a blocker ahead. He's got Miller. He got a block from Waller, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. 60-yard run in his Raider debut, Trevor Davis. That's Williams in motion. And the pitch is to Kaufman. Kaufman gets a block and cuts through a big hole. Cut back. Kaufman down the sideline with Tim Brown in front. Napoleon Kaufman to the five and touchdown. touchdown. 61 yard Rambo by Napoleon Kaufman. And you look at this play here, Harvey Williams comes down, he really hits below the waist, which on a crackback you can't do. But it's just all Napoleon McCoffman right here with the run. Some excellent block, and Tim Brown's trying to find out who he should block on this. But Kaufman uses his blockers very well, coming down the field and able to get into the end zone before he is tackled. Raiders first down from their 39-yard line. Hester in motion. And it's Marcus Allen. Change of direction. What a move! Marcus Allen goes the distance. Allen goes 61 yards off a spectacular change of direction. Well, Cincinnati's moved ahead of Pittsburgh, maybe Houston in the central, Buffalo ahead of Miami in the east. And now the Raiders, can they stay with Kansas City and can Denver stay with Bo Jackson? The answer is no. Bo has another. like Muhammad Ali or something so fast and so sharp and hit so quick that you stun the guys trying to tackle you you see him starting right he looks like he's in trouble but look how hard he hits people he's just so quick look at that burst banging into people it's explosion he's really beating the defenders to the punch that's the greatness that this guy has as an athlete 62 yard touchdown barreling through the defense Third quarter, Marv Albert, Rich Gannon. 
That's 20, Raiders 3. Reese running hard, able to break tackles. He's in the clear. Puts the speed on. Touchdown, Oakland. What a move by Marcel Reese. Now, you don't expect this from a fullback, but Reese, in college, a wide receiver, a tight end, a fullback in the pros, although did play running back four or five times last week or last year well they love the power play to the left because they want to pull that right guard and that there's some speed that you just don't typically see from a fullback let's go it's a first and ten josh jacobs oh he's got the big hole he's into the secondary they can't get him you can kiss him goodbye touchdown touchdown raiders 63 yards tranquil comes up and then all of a sudden you got all these defenders along the line of scrimmage and nobody at the second level as jacobs gets through that initial wave He's able to get up on top, and then it's the stiff arm that extends it into the end zone. Down to four. Palmer made a change to the line of scrimmage. Running for a big hole. McFadden! Damn, McFadden! Touchdown, Raiders! McFadden takes it the distance. Watch the backside here by Cooper Carlisle as McFadden very patiently waits for the hole to open up. The block right there seals the nose tackle on the linebacker and then a poor angle by Ryan Mundy. And McFadden outruns Lewis for the pylon. Horton out in motion to the right. Give the ball here to Bell, sending him outside. Then he turns it up the field, breaks tackles at the 40. He's away at the 50. Got one man looking for block the 40, the 30, the 20. Steps out of a tackle at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Raiders. Bell, 66 yards. Pushes in the backfield as the running back because Fergus has an knee injury and McFadden has an ankle injury. First down and 10. Push, good block by Cordell Green. He got by Carl. Oh, there he goes! Look at this run! Chased by Berber! Chased by Buchanan! And he is in for the touchdown! A 67-yard sprint, and the Raiders have recaptured the lead! In his first NFL season, missing last year with an injury, breaking one tackle after another. Kevin, you, you go back and watch that replay. Derek Brooks on the back side of that play is Gippy. Now Revis is following Hayward Bay. That's pretty obvious. Second and one. Here's a handoff. McFadden gets the edge. 30, 35, 40. Midfield. McFadden brooks a tackle. He's gone. 10, 5. Touchdown. Raiders. Darren McFadden gallops into the end zone. A 70-yard run. Two great blocks there. One by Kevin Boss and one by Chaz Jillings. Enabled him to make the cuts down the field. Man, is he something. Wow, when he gets in the open field, Tom, I don't know if there's a back in football that possesses the power to run through tackles, make the cut, and once he got the block from Hagan, it was over. A touchdown for McFadden. Janikowski for the point after. First and ten. At the 29, Darren McFadden is in the set back play action with the reverse. Jacoby Ford needs one block. Watch it. He's a sprinter. Jacoby Ford. Touchdown, Raiders. 71 yards.
Well, you see it here. As Ford turns around, you'll watch Champ Bailey trying to get away from Hayward Bay. Hayward Bay just grabs Champ Bailey. He can't run and catch up. Still lifting weights and trying to get better. Second down and four. You had me confused. I thought you were going to say today was Friday. Bo Jackson breaks it big. First down across midfield. Needs a block. He's gone. And Bo knows he's gone. 73 yards. Watch Steve Smith, number 35, the fullback. He just out there, throws that block out in front. That allows Bo to cut it back up. He knocks down Wilbur Marshall. Now, Bo explodes now, gets away from a couple of tacklers, and now nobody's going to catch him when he gets in the open. You see Charles Mann down there. He's trying to swat at him, but forget it. Bo knows how to run. <laughs> seconds left to play third quarter. Here's Marcus Allen. Cutting back up field and Marcus Allen could be gone. Seventy four yards for Marcus Allen. And the Raiders are starting to shove this one in the winner's column. 74 yards. This is reaction. This is a great running back. Watch him. He starts out here to the left. He feels the force of support coming. He says, oh, I can't go there. There's strong safety. Ken Coffey there. I'll start here. Now I see a cutback against that guy. Now I see open field. I'm just going to turn it on and take it into the end zone. That is a heck of a run. You don't teach that. You don't practice that. Tim Brown in motion on third and three. But the pitch to Kaufman. Changes direction. Watch out. Napoleon Kaufman's got plenty of room to run and some blockers. Oh, he, he's got Bobby Horning out there with an excellent block. 75 yards for the touchdown. Oh. Honey Kiffin can't believe it. Nah, because you, you think when it can get, can it get any worse? Yeah, it can always get worse. Uh, yeah, Lincoln Kennedy gets out here and runs and Chidi Ahana to the end right here has a, has him wrapped up at one point. He sees the play, reads it pretty well. There's 72 in the picture, Ahana to. Now when he cuts back, he picks up. James Jett there and Bobby Hoying as blockers and there's nobody. And suddenly Tampa Bay's defense that's known for speed and pursuit is nowhere to be found. But you know, for Tampa Bay, you want to get it all out of your system today. With two to go, you don't want any of this to creep into him. What's up? Jalen Richard. He's loose. Jalen Richard. It's going to be a touchdown, Raiders. 75 yards. What did I tell you earlier, Chris? When these two runners get in the game, the offense speeds up. Now, this is some good running, some bad tackling, but he gets to the second level, and two safeties, two defensive backs, I mean, have an opportunity to close this hole for him, and he's threw it like a arrow. Watch this. Laurinaitis gets blocked in the middle of your screen by the center, Rodney Hudson, and then right here, three guys. He's threw them in a heartbeat. Next thing you know, he's hitting his head on the goalpost. An unbelievable run. Wildcat with Jennings. The fake to home. And here he goes. Look at him run off to the races. Swearinger is chasing. Joseph is chasing. Galloping and down this touch he goes. That is a Raider touchdown. 80-yard run out of the Wildcat. Rashad Jennings. Wow. Jennings out of the Wildcat. He talked about the ugly four yards. This is a backbreaker for Gary Kubiak and company whose offense has been stalemated 
in the second half. Watch him rip right through this, right to number 36. This is mano a mano with DJ Swearinger. Lower the shoulder, one man wins, one man loses. Jennings clearly wins the battle at the point of attack, creating yards after contact with Swearinger en route to an 80-yard run for a touchdown. Starting on first down here for Jeff George and company under the new head coach this season, John Gruden. Hoffman has a lot of room. <laughs> Hoffman at the 10, and he is romping into the end zone. Touchdown, <laughs> Oakland. Woo! 80 yards in the opening play of the game. You see, there's no tight end here. Watch Armstead. He can't get back inside. You see that plant there, Ronnie? He didn't have his footwork. And you have to wonder about that ankle that he's been nursing all week. And that's a play that Jesse Armstead usually makes. Kaufman goes the distance, untouched, chased by Felipe Sparks. But once he made that burst into the secondary, he just exploded past everybody. down from the 20-yard line for Gannon and the Raiders. Tyrone Wheatley. Left side, big hole. Up the middle. Midfield. Wheatley shakes the last tackler and goes for an 80-yard touchdown. That is something the Raiders don't expect to see from Tyrone Wheatley. is my hammer guy. He goes up in there and splatters it. Watch John Ritchie, number 40. He leads it up in there. Nice, solid block on Anthony Simmons. And the safeties out of position. And then Sean Springs tries to bring him down, but he can't. Tyrone Wheatley is supposed to be the thunder and Napoleon Kaufman the lightning. The Jets could capitalize. They're on to Foxborough. Touchdown. Tim Brown on the outside with the key block right there. And when you add this 80 to what the Raiders have done tonight, they go over 500 yards in offense. Zooming you in. don't think that traveling across the country three times in seven or eight days affects the defense? 500 yards worth of affecting that defense. Now it's third down and about a yard. Kaufman. Jacobs. Jacobs with running room right up the middle. Jacobs is on his way. The Raiders are going to win this game. This is an absolute savage. Look at the block by Jakob Johnson, his fullback, and Jacobs, who has been just a man possessed all game from the first quarter all the way to the last play. 
has just been dominant and for the second week in a row. And he was right. of 89 yards rushing. Look at as he breaks tackles, sweeping to the left. Now the man that tries to get him as he goes down the sideline is number 44, Pete Shaw. Shaw coming over, has the angle, and dives right there, gets a hold of the shirt, and hits the heels, but King is too strong to go down, drives it into the end zone. What a big play. Thanksgiving Day game? No question. I'm going to that game. I know what you're doing Monday night. And I'll be there with you. First and ten. Breaking free is Murray. Murray's got a clear field ahead. Murray trying to take it. 90 yards. Touchdown Raiders. Could hear the box up front, and they stoned him. Coming across, that's Michael Rivera once again, and Murray, Jim. Young, fresh legs. What we saw last week just wasn't luck. We're seeing it here tonight. He's different. A different type of runner for this Oakland Raiders team. I'm afraid that's nothing more than sheer unadulterated speed. There's Allen on Hunter. There's Moraldi on front, but he never even gets into the play. Both his offensive linemen are just totally out of it because Bo Jackson saw the hole and just outruns not only his own players, but everybody in the blue jersey as well. They wouldn't let him rest. They've been on his case. <laughs> Bo Jackson around the corner and down the sideline, and there he goes! We had a clock on it, and it took him 15 seconds. Football, pads, helmet, and all with the Bengals chasing him to go 92 yards. Tremendous move by Bo Jackson as he just explodes down the sideline. Hey, Raiders are two and four. They have it first and ten. After the penalty, they spot it. Out and they hand off its player. Lot of real estate to the 30. Player is off and running. Inside Steelers territory, 20, 10, and Pryor is in. 93 yards, and the Raiders storm it out of the gate. Well, you see the fake. Of course, it's going to draw the action. You see the squeeze. No one accounted for Terrell Pryor. And once he gets in the open field, no one's going to bring him down from behind. 